Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you Evolution X Android 12 custom ROM and if it is stable enough to be used as a daily driver on OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. As you can see, I have installed Evolution X which is an Android 12 based custom ROM on my OnePlus 8T. If we go into the about section, you can see that the Android version is 12 and the ROM is Evolution X and the Android security patch is 5th January 2022. I've already made a video on how to install any Android 12 ROM on OnePlus 8T or OnePlus 9. So you can check that video out if you want to install this ROM. But I'm not going to show in this video how to install this. First of all, the ROM is very very fast, stable and very responsive. I mean I'm using this ROM as a daily driver for the last few days and I have not seen a single frame drop or a single lag. All the basic functionality works intended as it should, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, Volti, calling and everything just works flawlessly. The fingerprint sensor also works fine and it is just a little slow as compared to Android 11 ROM. Moving on, since this is an Android 12 ROM, it supports all the amazing features from Android 12 which includes material use theming, newer UI and animation, QoS and notification panel, one-handed mode, privacy dashboard and all the pixel related features. Each of the features just works without any problems or issues. The safety net passes on this ROM out of the box and all the payment and banking apps work just fine. The widewind security level is L1 so that means you will be able to stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Talking about the camera, the ROM comes with an AOSP camera which is not very good and there is no support for Oxygenos camera or gallery app like other Android 12 ROM but the developer is actively working to make Oxygen OS camera work on this ROM. You can install Gcam very easily and if you want to install Gcam on Android 12 you can have a look at this video in the i button. Moving on, if you go into BGMI you can see there is no option for 90fps in BGMI even though the screen refresh rate has been set to 120. Enabling 90fps in BGMI crashes the ROM for some reason so no 90fps on this one. Talking about the battery, battery backup is also good and there is no no considered drain as such. On average, I am getting 6 to 7 hours of screen on time without heavy gaming or such. Now let's talk about the customization that are available on this ROM. If we go into the settings, you can see the Evolver section which has all the customization options. First up, we have Themes. Under Themes, we have Monet Engine where you can select the black theme or you can use the custom color if you don't like the one generated by the Monet Engine. Then we have Dark Theme where you can select from 7 different background themes for the background. Next up, we have Font where we have a plethora of fonts to choose from. Then we have status bar icon packs, signal icon styles, Wi-Fi icon styles and icon shapes. Moving on to status bar, in status bar we have status bar icon toggles, then we have clock and date settings to customize the style of the clock, then we have carrier label and traffic indicator settings, under that we have battery styles and battery percentage settings followed by 4G volte icon options and at the bottom we have options to show notification count combined signal icons. Coming back we have notification settings where there are options for ambient edge lighting and heads up notification. Then you get options for notification light and battery light under which we have the option for blink flashlight for incoming call and at last there are in call vibration options. Moving on we have quick settings option where you can customize quick pull down and smart pull down and then we have brightness slider settings and finally animation styles for quick settings. Moving on to the power menu, we have power menu items toggle. Next up we have gestures. Under gestures we have system settings which has gestures like one handed mode, quickly open camera and swipe to screenshot. Then we have brightness control and double tap gestures. Moving ahead under lock screen settings you get the options for UPFPS. Here you have an option for FOD icon picker and animation effect and you get a lot of options to choose from. And then you get media art and fingerprint options. Under button the first option is for navigation settings where you can customize every bit of navigation gestures. Then we have volume rocker customization options. Under animations there are options to change the screen of animation and charging animation. And under miscellaneous we have a dedicated gaming mode, pulse music visualizer and burn in protection. We also have some OnePlus settings where we have options like DC dimming, auto high brightness mode, ambient display gestures, FPS overlay, game mode and system vibrator sense. This 
from is just loaded with options and customizations to choose from. I mean, it is going to take you hours just to go through each and every feature that this ROM provides. The ROM is good, like really, really good. I mean, of all the Android 12 ROMs that I've tried, this one is the most responsive and snappy. And you have a taste of Android 12 with a stable experience with this one. Also, there is lot of development going on, so you will receive a lot of new features and updates very frequently. A big thanks to the developer for all the hard work. The only problem for now is the lack of 90 FPS in BGMI and lack of oxygen OS camera. Though without these features also this ROM is very very solid and I recommend this to everyone. That's all for this video and I'll also be trying other Android 12 ROMs such as Dove Fest or CR Droid. Subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos. Thank you for watching.